Hello. In this video, we will look on the SAP data migration cockpit uh, as a direct transfer method. Uh, we have already published one video on the introduction. In case if you have not seen that, please start with it. So in this video, we will look about how do we do a direct transfer. Uh, in SAP data migration cockpit, there are two approaches depending on the source system. So one of them is like you have option to use a staging table. So this is like an LTMC where you can, uh, you know, uh, through the tool you can download your file, uh, prepare it, uh, I mean fill in the template and then use that one and you can push the data. Uh, and in case uh, if you are using any uh, ETL tools, like in case if you are using uh, SAP BODS or Informatica, any other tool, then this date data can be pushed into a staging table this is kind of a option one another one what sap is offered now is to migrate the data directly from an sap system it's a direct transfer which means if you have a ecc system from the current ecc system you can push the data to the s4 hana system so you need to establish an rfc connection etc so we will look at a high level how this uh, things are getting performed so this is actually possible only from the SAP S4 HANA 1909. So that means all the current installations after 2020, 2021, 22, uh, most of the installations have got these options of working in this way. Okay. Uh, so we need to establish an RFC connection. This is primarily important between the two systems to communicate. And uh, here also you can see the same uh, migration cockpit is used. To. But one important thing is in the ECC system, we have to, uh, there is a component called DIMS component, which we have to install that. Uh, so that that component is also having some prerequest, which uh, we will do in look into the detail. And so the SAP note 2973957 has a detailed information about how this uh, prerequest has to be taken care for the direct transfer. So fundamentally, what we need to understand here is, there is an option to do a direct transfer. When we call direct transfer, it is between SAP ECC system to an S4 HANA system. And what are the prerequisites? Is what we are looking at here. So this is a SAP note 2973957, which talks about SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit for a data transfer for a direct from SAP system. So what is important here is if you see there is a prerequisite, which means about the system landscape requirement. So this is important for us to understand what should be our source system the source system should be ecc6 ehp0 or higher and for in case if you are working on afs which is a parallel fashion solution it should be six and the target system is very important again it should be on premises 1900 and the fps s00 so this is one of the pre-requests and then again uh, you know what are all the source systems uh, what is the component that you need to add so the dgmas add-on has to be added uh, you know for target system we no need it. it's a valid license alone is required so this is one thing which is important and again there is a compatibility matrix you know based on your uh, s4 hana system fp level what should be your dims component that you need to do you know so there are information on this which we need to give very closer attention which will help us to design and this component has to be installed by the basis team once this installation is done on the ecc system rfc connection is done then we have an opportunity to pull the data and bring it to our cockpit and place it directly into our s4 hana system uh, trust this uh, video will be a little helpful for you to give a high level overview in the subsequent sections we will try to cover the details uh, you know more elaborate way Thanks for watching this. Uh, stay tuned to look for the other uh, videos on the same series of SAP Data Migration Cockpit. Thank you.